hello welcome to my bedroom <laughs> no i am chrissy and welcome to my youtube channel chrissy love where i review perfumes we are here in my bedroom because it's the only place with air conditioning <laughs> and i don't think it looks too bad i think it's fine so anyway this is a really really fun video guys because i am talking about perfumes that remind me of bubble gum and some of them are outright bubble gum scents and some of them just kind of make me feel like bubble gum is in them. So this is a really fun one. It's a little bit juvenile, it's a little playful, but I'm a big gourmand lover and bubble gum is just, to me, the, the next perfume stratosphere for me. <laughs> I'm really hoping this bubble gum trend catches on and more perfumes have an element and that they can somehow make them more sophisticated with bubble gum or you know, play on it a little bit more. So let's jump right in. I have four perfumes to talk about today. I have to give a nod to the perfume that kicked this all off. And that is Moschino's Toy 2 Bubble Gum, which is a brand new 2021 release. I can't find a real bottle of it anywhere, but I found one online. I found someone who's willing to send me a sample. So for top notes, we have candied fruits, bitter orange and lemon. For middle notes, we have bubblegum, Bulgarian rose, blueberry, peach, cinnamon, ginger, and peach blossom. And base notes are ampersand, musk, and cedar. Now, when I first spray this on myself, and by the way, I just cracked this and it spilled all over me. So I'm gonna smell like this for the rest of the day. <laughs> Good thing I like it. Um, when I first spray it on me, I get a pink bazooka bubble gum. It's powdery, it's sugary. You can almost smell like the wrapping, like the bazooka wrapping with the comic inside. <laughs> you really can. It's such a real bubble gum scent. But the dry down is where it gets really cool because it's still bubble gummy. Like it still has that like pink bubble gum scent, but you get more vanilla, you get more of a citrus becomes a bit more sophisticated. You know, there's a lot of notes in here, like the rose and the cinnamon, the ginger. I mean, they all come together to create a really well blended, actually pretty complex perfume that once it dries down, turns quite classy. So there's that initial excitement of bubble gum, but then as it dries down, it becomes a more nuanced perfume experience than just straight up bubble gum on your skin, which is lovely. Now the performance, not excellent. It does go away after a few hours of wear. So you do need to re-up it, but is it worth it? Absolutely, because I haven't smelled anything like this ever before. I think it's really fun and playful. And if you like sweet, this is good for you because it definitely is sweet. It's not like a subtle nuanced bubble gum. It is a sweet candy-like gourmand scent. So super fun, I'm really enjoying it. And that is Moschino's Toy 2 bubble gum. The next one that gives me real bubblegum vibes is Britney Spears' private show. And I have a sample size here, but I'll put a picture, of course, of what it looks like. Now the top notes are whipped cream, coffee, nectarine, and clementine. Middle notes are dolce de leche, jasmine sandback, and orange blossom. And the base notes are amber and musk. And what I get when I first spray this on my skin, I really get pink bubblegum and coffee. Those two combined, it truly, whatever the notes, the notes are not bubble gum, but they combine to smell like it. Now in the dry down, that coffee gets a little bit cheaper. It kind of smells like instant coffee with a sweet pink bubble gum underneath. So what it reminds me of is like the Starbucks pink drink, you know, or like a Starbucks Frappuccino that has like a, a fruity, um, candy like flavor to it, which honestly is like most of their frappuccinos. Okay. Um, but anyway, so it really reminds me of that, like a candy coffee drink, but in the deep dry down, I lose that coffee. I'm left with that fun bubble gum scent. So it's juicy, it's fruity, it's super sweet. It definitely smells like a pink bubble gum to me. Now, performance wise, it's not that great. You get a skin scent after only two hours or so. So, you know, you really have to respray. Fortunately, this is a really affordable celebrity perfume that is still widely available. So I do enjoy it. Am I gonna buy a full bottle? I don't know. I might get the Moschino one instead, even though it's a lot more expensive. Um, but it's, I'm so undecided. If I saw this for a really bargain basement price, I probably would buy it. Mm. And it does smell good. It smells like candy. <laughs> so that is Britney Spears' private show. 
This next one doesn't have a pure bubblegum note in it either, but the notes just combine to make me think of it. And that is Juicy Couture Bodacious. And the top notes are melon, pear, and Italian mandarin. The middle notes are tiara flower, white ginger lily, and jasmine sandback. And the base notes are coconut milk, tonka bean, and driftwood. And I'm really not getting any of those florals, to be honest. Um, when I first spray it, it smells like my skin is smells like bubblegum shampoo or like bubblegum scented bubble bath. So like a kid's shampoo or a kid's bubble bath. And it has that like pink bubblegum feeling for me. It has that signature Juicy Couture shampoo-like scent for sure. And then in the dry down, it, that coconut comes out more. It becomes like a tropical coconut cocktail, which is really fun. It's really sweet and delicious. I get berries, even though they're not really a note in there. That's what I get. And of course, it keeps that shampoo-ness. But... Basically, the bubble gum is much more pronounced in the opening, but it really keeps that candy-like feel throughout the whole experience. Now, performance-wise, it is gone on me by midday. It's not really that great, but while it's on me for that first four hours or so, it really does project. So this is a really fun one that is not outwardly bubble gum, but it gives me those vibes, and the opening definitely does. So that is Juicy Couture Bodacious. Finally, I have an exciting release from Pink Sugar, and that is Creamy Sunshine. And this came out in 2020, along with the Berry Blast Flanker, and I haven't been able to get my hands on that one, but I am trying to. Now, the top notes on this are coconut milk, orange, bergamot, and green mandarin. The middle notes are sugar, tiara flower, ylang ylang, mimosa, and gardenia. And the base notes are caramel, vanilla, manoa oil, sandalwood, and moss. And this... <laughs> It's so darn sweet. I didn't think you could get sweeter than pink sugar, but this definitely has a pink sugar base, but it's taking it to a whole new level. It's like coconut cream pie with sponge sugar, cotton candy, all of the sweetness. I'm just gonna spray it here now. That sprayer is really direct. Um, it's, it's, a, it's, it's quite juvenile, I'll be honest. I'm a pink sugar lover, but this might be a little bit too far over the line for me, but I get major bubblegum vibes from it. It really reminds me mm, of like juicy fruit. I think it's not just a straight pink bubblegum because it has that coconut in it. This definitely has like a juicy fruit scent in it for me. And it's very linear. The scent really stays with you start to finish. It's the same. It's that pink sugar vibe with juicy fruit in it with like a coconut tropical lean. That's what I get. Performance wise, it is beast mode. I mean, I make the mistake sometimes of running over and just like putting this to my nose just to like smell it for, you know, just for, for a second. And it like sticks on my nose for hours. Like I can't get it off of me. It's incredible performance. And that is one great thing about pink sugar. Now I've always thought about pink sugar as like an affordable, cheapy perfume, but I went on their website to get this one. It was like $65. I was like, maybe pink sugar isn't actually the cheap perfume I thought it was. I think just when it resales, it sells for like 20 bucks at TJ Maxx. It's all over TJ Maxx. This one, Creamy Sunshine and the other Flanker Berry Blast, not available at TJ Maxx right now. Let me tell you that. Those are brand new. So uh, yeah, they're not widely available yet. But this is a really fun one. If It's kind of, it's, it's quite childlike. If you like pink sugar, I will actually caution you on this one because it is definitely younger even than pink sugar. It's like high school, seriously. Um, I think I, there's a chance I might not keep it because it is so juvenile, but is it fun? Yes. Is it sweet? Yes. So if you just want to just spray it on just for the joy of it, cause you like it, you don't care what anyone else thinks. I think this is actually a really fun perfume. So this is pink sugar, creamy sunshine. Cool. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I sure enjoy preparing for it and doing it. This is so fun. I really hope the bubble gum trend catches on. Hey, perfume world. Let me know what you think if you've smelled any of these. Be sure to like and subscribe while you're here. Hey, why not? Thanks for being here and I hope you have a very beautiful